What's up and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There is loads of cool things down there. Right, so this week we've got the Under Armour Machina. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, the Under Armour Machina. Uh, this is the new shoe from Under Armour. I would call this a daily training shoe, uh, even though it's got a plate in it, and I'll come onto that in a bit. Uh, this shoe is weighing in at just under 11 ounces for a UK 9.5. You've got an 8 mil drop. You've got the Hover or Hover midsole from uh, Under Armour, which is like all about energy return, that kind of stuff. Kind of in line with a lot of the midsoles out there at the moment. Uh, you've got a nice wide toe box, which is awesome. Engineered mesh upper, uh, which is breathable to a degree. Again, I'll come on to that. I really dig the space around here. This is nice and wide, actually. If you've got a wide foot, you'll like this. Um, the heel area is nice and super padded, actually. Um, there's a lot going on around here. So, if again, if you like a sock and issue, which has got a load of padding, a bit like pillows, cushioning uh, around here, you're really going to like this. Uh, the overall lacing of it is pretty good. Um, I got these locked down quite nice. I really enjoyed that. The outsole's great for me down the rivers. There's plenty of tread on here. Uh, and I think this is where a lot of the weights come from. There is a lot of tread. If you look at that, there is a lot of tread on there. Um, the only thing I would say, and I've not run these in the wet because it's been quite dry over here in the UK recently. I do have a slight concern how that would hold up in the wet. It just feels a bit slippery. But for me down the uh, canal pass, toe pass, it's been great. And even on the fields, actually, I think in the B-roll, I was running um, on a route around one of the big fields up the back um it held up pretty well as well which is good uh the overall weight i think is a bit of an issue uh i do worry when you get over like 10k how this is going to feel i think where they say where they put a lot of rubber on it there's a lot going on in the shoe i do worry how much you know you start going over 10 15 kilometers that weight will start eating onto your to your legs um and that is a problem for me on a daily trainer i like a lighter daily trainer like I said, I like the lacing, I like the, the wider toe box. Um, it is nice. The plate, getting onto the plate, now this is, as like I said, a plastic plate, and now it goes into the forefoot. So what you get is you get a nice snap uh, uh, as you go from your heel to toe. You get do get a nice pop as you go along. That with the midsole, it does push you along kind of nice. So although it's got that weight, so from that five to 10K range, it is kind of nice. You do get a nice, uh, what's the best word to describe yeah snappy ride as you're going along and that's kind of cool i do like that but for me the downside is is the is the weight and that's a that's a real problem for me especially going into the summer the mesh upper is not the most breathable one out there again so i think i think they've done a, amazing with like the midsole and putting the plate up the front and making it like that snappy but they could have shaved a lot of weight off of this and i think it would have made it a much better shoe what is cool and i don't know whether you can see that i'll take the laces out but it says Bluetooth in there. So what this shoe has got in here is a little chip. Uh, it's a uh, Bluetooth chip, it's not a GPS chip. Uh, this connects to your phone using the Under Armour Map My Run app. Now what happens is with that, so you, the GPS is actually taken off your phone, not off the shoe. So it, they connect up. Now one thing I would say with that is that when you do connect the two up, it does doesn't drain the battery on your phone, but it does add a little bit of, uh, yeah, it does kill your phone a little bit. So just bear that in mind if you are using this. It's kind of cool, because it, what it does, it gives you sort of, within your run, it gives you advice, tips, all that kind of stuff as you're going along. For me, I can't stand that. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I came away from the Nike app and stuff like that. There was just too much going on. I'm, I like to get out there, do my own thing, watch my watch, pace myself, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so with this app, I don't think I'm going to get the most out of it. I don't think uh, I'm going to get the best use of it. But if you're a solo runner and you're looking for a little bit of coaching, a little bit of help, maybe that is something for you. It's to say, it's the Map My Run uh, app from Under Armour. So I'm a big fan of Strava anyway. But yeah, that's one thing that's kind of cool on it is you've got that technology in there. But just bear in mind that <laughs> make sure you charge your phone up before you go out. But I say something different. I think these sort of... Um, What's the, these clever shoes, these smart shoes, sorry, the best way to describe these smart shoes are going to be a thing of the future. So, you know, hats off to Under Armour for bringing something cool along like this. But for me personally, this shoe is a little bit too fat. It's a little bit too stiff, as you can say. Look at that. Um, for me as a daily trainer, and that's where I have a problem with it. But for you, it might be something. 
I think also at like £135 here in the UK, it's on the expensive side as well. I'm guessing this shoe will get reduced quite quickly because they probably won't sell many of them over here. Uh, and you'll probably have to pick them up cheaper, so that may be something to do. So yeah, guys, not that impressed with the Under Armour Machina. I think it needs to go on a diet. But if you do like a, a nice cushioned uh, shoe, you do like um, technology in your shoe, maybe there's something for you, so check it out maybe, but wait till it gets reduced.